Hello and welcome to Apple A Day. I'm John Martins and this is my first episode in a new series called New to Mac. These short episodes are going to focus on individual tricks and tips geared towards new users of Macs. So whether you have a MacBook Air, an iMac, a Mac Studio, if this is your first Mac, then this series will certainly be useful. Please subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. And note that these episodes are not going to be in any kind of learning order. They're as random as the ideas in my head. So let's jump into today's tip. How to view file and folder sizes. First, let's start with finding out the size of a hard drive. In the finder, I'm going to select my internal hard drive called Macintosh HD. This is the standard name and I never changed it. Most likely yours is called Macintosh HD as well. I'll select it and then go over to the file menu and select get info. I can also access this by pressing the keyboard shortcut of command I. When I select it, this info window appears and it'll tell you everything you need to know. The capacity of the drive, which is two terabytes, the available space, which is 93.1 gigabytes, and the used space, which is 1.93 terabytes. The get info also works for external drives. This clear rock video is an external drive. I'll select it and press the keyboard shortcut of command I to view the info window. And here again, I can see the capacity and the available space and the used space. This also works for looking at folders. I'll select this folder on my desktop named desktop stuff. I'll press command I and this window is slightly different. I don't have a capacity value or an available space value because it's not a drive, it's just a folder. But I do have the size of this folder and it's 42.39 gigabytes. You can also use the get info on a file as well and it will tell you the size of that file. So now let's look at the finder window. I'm going to open this ClearRock video external drive by double clicking on it. So I'm looking at this window in list view, which shows us columns of information, things like file name, date modified, kind, etc. What's missing is the size. If I right click on any of these column headings, I can see a list of available columns that can be added. I'm going to select size. And now we can see the size of all of the files in this list. But notice that the folders don't display their size. Well, that's because it's an option and it's turned off by default. Most likely that's because it can sometimes slow things down if it has to calculate the sizes of large folders. But if you want to turn it on, go to the view menu and select show view options. And when the view options window appears near the bottom, turn on the option to calculate all sizes. Once I check that and close the window, you'll see that all of the folders now show their sizes. For myself though, I'm going to turn this feature off because I don't really need it. I'll open up my view options, but this time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command J and then I'm going to uncheck calculate all sizes and close the window. The last thing I want to show you is something called the status bar. It displays the number of items within the current folder as well as the amount of space available on the host drive. I use this information all the time and I usually have it turned on. So to turn it on, go to the view menu and select show status bar. The keyboard shortcut is command forward slash. And more often than not, I have hit this keyboard combination by accident and then turned off the status bar. So if that's happened to you without realizing it, you now know how to get it back. So you can see the status bar appears at the bottom of the window and it says 39 items and I have 32 gigabytes available. That's the amount of free space on the clear rock video drive. I'll open up one of these subfolders by double clicking on it. When this folder opens, it says I have nine items, but the available space still reflects the host drive. It's still showing me what's on the clear rock video drive. I'll double click on Macintosh HD to open that window and the status bar will show there too. It says I have over 92 gigs left on that drive. So this is super useful to have on because you can always see how much space you have left. It's even more useful if you're operating that close capacity like I seem to be doing. So that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. My name's John Martins. Please like, subscribe and comment and let me know if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.